I'm glad that I was able to grow up in this community and be a part of, you know, the Latinx family and culture. It's it's really beautiful, and I'm glad that it's now more than ever being able to be shown on television. I'm a television writer producer, and I'm currently uh, a co-EP on uh, the second season of Love Victor, which is on Hulu. Dear Simon, you don't know me, but my family just moved to Atlanta. I was excited to start over. I thought I'd finally get the chance to be myself, or at least figure out who that even is. Love, Victor is a story of self-discovery. It follows a boy named Victor through his journey of high school and his problems as a young teenager. But on top of that, he has to deal with questioning his sexuality and his sexual orientation, which I think is, is very different, especially for Latinx families. The fact that the character knows that his family is going to have a difficult time with this is culturally specific, not necessarily just to Latinx culture, but I think a lot of cultures that are heavily mired in religion and err on the more conservative side. That's the universal element in the show. I'm a Latinx gay man, his closeness with his family, that's also something that is very personal to me that definitely myself and the other Latinx writers that were in the room, we definitely felt like that was something that would very much be in this character's DNA. Bendicion, Dios te bendiga. My character, Pilar, she's very, very feisty. She definitely has her sassy moments. I, I think I'm very different from her, but <laughs> it's really fun to be able to play with her and get to be in her shoes. I miss you so much. I would crawl back to Texas on broken glass just to have five more minutes with you. Pilar, say goodbye to your boyfriend. I'm trying to have a nice family moment here. My kidnappers are making me hang up. Send help. I didn't see many Latinx representation on films and TV, and I honestly wish I would have because I feel like it, growing up it would have been maybe a little bit easier. I feel like in, in this generation, we have a term called comfort characters, and it's basically characters that you can relate to and you find comfort with. And I feel like growing up, if I would have had that, it would have just probably been an easier time. I did see it in I Love Lucy, right, with Desi Arnaz and Ricky Ricardo. But I really didn't see it again, you know, as a kid until I watched My So-Called Life and seeing Wilson Cruz play Ricky Vasquez. That was something I'd never seen before. And, you know, one of, if not the first gay Latinx teens on television. But even if I did meet the perfect person, I just think it should be like a miracle. Like seeing a comet or just feeling like you're seeing one. Seeing the other person's perfectness. The show Ugly Betty was definitely something that was very uh, formative for me. Um, it was created and run by Silvio Horta, who's a gay Latinx man. You can't be it if you can't see it, and I saw it in him. And so being able to see it in him was the reason why, you know, I'm doing what I'm doing today. You know you have nothing to be afraid of, right? You. The bravest kid I know. There are a lot of Latinx shows that are streaming or on the air, but they're not very often created by Latinx people. And so moving forward, I would love to see Latinx shows that are created by Latinx people. We're already seeing it a little bit with Tanya Siracho creating Vida and Gloria Calderon Kellett creating One Day at a Time and Moisa Samora creating Selena for Netflix and Stephen Canals creating Pose for FX. I would like to see the Latinx community growing stronger together and, you know, showing our power because we can shine as well. I want to see directors and writers and actors just going up. Whatever type of Latinx creative you are, find that person who has done it. Find that person who has come before you. Use them as a beacon to your own success. And if you can't find that person, you can be that person. Don't think that you can't be the first person to do that. Thank you.